Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 14, Eric Kirby free play for LEGO Jurassic World. So you can see in the bottom left, we do have a few requirements. Uh, most important that you have completed the story. And uh, if you've been following along, you should have the Dilophosaurus as well as the Velociraptor and you should be ready to roll. So we are gonna hit all 10 mini kits in the Amber Brick. As you can see there, we are barren of all of those, but that will change here in a second. So go ahead and select Eric Kirby free play. Select your favorite character and let's go ahead and get to get him. All right, right off the bat, we find ourselves walking down a path, smashing some stuff, and all of a sudden this raptor comes up and starts sniffing. And uh, we uh, would tell him to mind his business, but uh, truth being told, he'd probably bite our heads off. So we're gonna go ahead and go camouflage with old uh, Eric Kirby, and then we're gonna make our way down and around. Once we get the little icon indicating we're far enough, we uncloak ourselves and smash everything in sight, and we make a wiener mobile. I'm not sure why there's so much wiener in this game, but there's a lot of wiener. Like every video has, or every scene or level has at least like a couple of sausages thrown. It's really weird, so anyhow. We'll go ahead and use our favorite grapple hook person, Barry, on that back truck there on the grapple. Pull out the pieces, build them up for the mini kit. And I've already got myself a little bit behind. So we'll switch on over to Alan and take out the shrubs in front of the truck. It's like an ice cream truck is what it looks like. It turns out there's a winch there. We'll use the little hook on the winch to pull it over towards the, uh, well, I don't know what that is. Why there's a there's some sort of a winch hook on a tree. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, it looks like somebody car ramrodded a car there, but the car is missing now. Now, anyhow, we pulled it away. We actually found ourselves a mini door, so we'll go ahead and switch on over to a little dude. This time we selected Eric Kirby, it looks like, and the, uh, I don't know, looks like he's all dressed ready to go to church there. He's all white and nice and... Anyhow, we uh, we knock down the old bridge there for our faithful companion, Barry, and then we slice through some of that shrapnel with uh, the old raptor claw, and then we miss our rope. We're, we're getting pretty good at missing those ropes. And as we continue down, oh, this is our least favorite Dilo box so far. You see that Dilo box right up above us? Oh, man. See, I'm, I'm trying to change into a Dilophosaurus here. But as you notice, every time I look at my character wheel, all of the dinos are crossed off. And that's because the game requires a certain amount of room in order for you to spawn some of the larger dinosaurs, or medium dinosaurs, I guess. And uh, you can see we switched on over to Eric Kirby, and I failed miserably at the old fuse block here. But the whole point I was trying to make is that here in a second, you have to smash a bunch of this stuff along the right in order to create enough space in order for you to create or spawn a uh, Dilophosaurus or Dilo, as me and old Dougie call it. But uh, you can see here, I keep looking. Nope, crossed off again. Mm, oh, no, crossed off again. All right, so let me smash some of this around, open it up a little bit. And yes, we finally have enough room. So, And then I accidentally grabbed the Skeletor version of him. My bad on that. Clearly, he uh, is on some sort of a, uh, excessive diet here. And... All right, so this is why this is my least favorite. Not only was it really hard for me to find enough space, uh, or frustrating, I guess it wasn't really hard, uh, but I'm having a hard time targeting the box, but it turns out it's only this left corner that's really shining that green kind of uh, bubbly haze or whatever you want to call it. I eventually get the target. I mean, I don't know how many times I tried it, at least 100 times. I go back and look. It's probably more like six, but uh, we end up getting it. We have to switch on over to Barry. We bring him down, and he builds up the mini kit. And boy, that was one of the longer mini kits. And I kind of left that in there because I wanted everybody to see that, you know, if you're having troubles, it's not a game glitch not letting you spawn. It's, it's an area requirement. You have to have so much area around the character in order to spawn some of those medium dinos. So. All right, now that we're inside, we use the mini door to get inside the little compound here. We see the sick dinosaur, but we also see a shock panel in the back. Shoot it, as you just saw, and then a little conveyor belt will bring out another target. Blast that, build up the pieces, and mini kit three will be yours. All right, so we got a sick dino. We need to handle him, but let's go ahead and let our buddy in first. So go ahead and make it over to the old crank wheel here and spin to win. And look at that twins bezel. We got tw <laughs> two barrels. Woohoo! Who said you can never have too much Barry? Or maybe you can't, I don't know. 
I bet you Barry wouldn't say you have too much, Barry. <laughs> All right, we switched on over to our favorite dung diver, and uh, yeah, we went ahead and dove in there, and we find out that this is actually a sick dinosaur, and we're going to go ahead and use the banana to go ahead and help heal him. But he needs more. He needs a carrot, and he needs a dino bar. So we're going to head to the back or the front of the screen, towards your screen, and dig up in the dig pile there with Alan. Give him the old carrot. That one makes sense. You know, we got a banana and a poop pile, and we got carrots growing out of the ground. And, hey, look at this. It actually makes sense. We get a dino bar from a dino machine. This is the one level, I think, that all three items actually made sense. So go ahead and step up to the dino icon, kick the old machine, and it'll give you the dino bar after a couple of seconds. Go ahead and take that over to the old, uh, gosh, I don't, I don't know. This, this guy's a little bit meaner and a little bit built. He looks like a hawk. Like, if you look at his mouth, he's got, like, a beak. He looks like a bird. But he's got that spine, and I don't know what's going on with that tail. I I'm not even going to say it. You guys can draw your own conclusions, but there's something seriously wrong with that tail. But, uh, all right, raptor battle. A few of them, I don't know, four or five of them come at you. Give them the old pow, pow, pow. And uh, Tweety Bird comes and visits them with the old stars. And uh, eventually Blue comes down and tries to jump you. But we well, give him a whole whack with that tail. And uh, he sends those guys out, or sends him out, and these guys get a little celebratory dance. As soon as you get back in control here, switch on over to the dino. And if you didn't already take this back corner out, go ahead and get your smash on. And inside is a mini kit. So, you know, Doug kept telling me that there's this glitch that you can walk up to these boxes like that. And with mini kits behind them, these dinosaurs will, like, get through them. And I I'm not having that issue. I don't know if, I, I mean, I guess really it was luck for him. But, uh, boy, that got foggy quick, didn't it? That was kind of weird. Anyhow, we're going to uh, keep on keeping on here. We find ourselves getting attacked by some uh, uh, Dilophosauruses here. I think those are what those are. Are they, are they make Gallimimus, maybe? I don't know. They're somebody. They're a pain in the butts is what they are. It takes, like, 100 shots to the face. They're, like, the toughest dinosaur, but they're so little. Anyhow, uh, go ahead and switch on over to a character with the ability to do some watering. You might have noticed that there was a little tree seed or a root sticking up here. So go ahead and water that and use the lily pads to get out to mini kit number five. All right. So number six is going to be right here as well. You probably noticed there was a little dig bits over here in the corner. We'll go ahead and pull out our hand sanitizer and our shovel here to dig up those stinky bits. And it actually reveals this little scarecrow that spins around, gives us a whole bunch of studs, and then points us to another stink pile. So we'll make it over here, and we'll get our dig on again. And yet again, more parts for another scarecrow. He spins around again, gives us a bunch of studs, and it points us to yet another stink pile. So, all right, we'll grab that blue stud there, too, and make it to the third pile. dig a dig a dig a dig a dig a dig a all right, we dig it all up, we build it on up, and more studs. It's kind of like a sprinkler there spinning around. But eventually we get the mini kit in the middle there. So, booyakashow, six down, only a few more, four to be exact. Yep, I just did the counting in my head. <laughs> I'm just playing. It was, it was a joke, howdy. All right, now uh, those, I don't know what's going on. My character seems to switch a lot as soon as I switch away. Did you notice I was Alan and I switched on over to Ellie? And then all of a sudden I switched back and I was Ellie again. Anyways, all right. Use Alan to shred through those shreds and, uh, and jump in there. There's a cinematic scene that we actually cut out. Once you spawn in the new area, I'm not sure why it spawned me as this big dino. But it did. And uh, we'll switch on over to Eric Kirby and throw a little vial of his T-Rex P on over there and destroy that target, giving us mini kit number seven. Then we're going to hop across, and there's actually a pile of compies over here that are in need of some T-Rex P. So we go ahead and throw there, throw it there, and uh, then I go ahead and get get uh, take a nice little dip there with Ellie. I'm not sure why she decided to jump in the water there, but she did. I guess it was probably the user controlling it that told her to do that. That would have been me. And, uh, ooh, I saw Blue up there. Did you see me? I was like, ooh, Bluesy. All right, use the boinger that we built up and uh, use Alan to go ahead and cut the rope. That smashes down a big old tree, and blammo, we find ourselves some bricks to build up into a bridge. But wait, there's more. Go ahead and switch on over to Billy and climb the old rock wall there. Once you get to the top, we're actually going to need to switch on over to a, a Packy or a, a Smackiosaurus, as I call it. I'm always smacking into things with them. 
And uh, once we break through the wall there, we could go ahead and switch on over to a character that can actually go into the darkness here, which Ian will do just fine. So we'll go in there and collect that mini kit, and then we'll keep on keeping on. Now as we make our way across the bridge, we find ourselves in need of another raptor claw. So, you know, I know a lot of you have been suggesting that I use the L1 and R1 to kind of toggle through my characters, but as I always mention on, uh, you know, wherever that's brought up, I always have terrible luck getting the character I want next. So I, rather than cycle through four or five or six characters, I usually just hit the triangle button in my case and select the character I need. But, you know, sometimes it works out, and you'll see me over the series. I actually try it a little bit more. I'm trying to be more adventurous based on your suggestion. So uh, thank you for that. I know that uh, some of you it frustrates you a lot that I switch to the character wheel every time and go and, but, uh, you know, hopefully you'll forgive me and, and maybe I'll finally figure out how that toggle thing really works. Um, you know, maybe it's just me being a moron and I haven't figured it out yet. That, that's possible. I'm willing to admit user error. That's, that's totally possible. All right, I'm blabbing away. We've climbed up this level here and now we found ourselves a mini door on the far right side. Go ahead and slide on through the mini door. We're going to have to sneak past this raptor here. So pull out Eric Kirby and pull out his cloak, his camouflage cloak. I can't help but feel like I'm playing a little Lord of the Rings, perhaps, or maybe a little Lego Hobbit or something, you know, going all invisible with my little fro do 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 Remember that? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> little throwback. All right, so we snuck by. We grabbed the mini kit. We snuck right back by. And last but not least, mini kit 10 is up ahead of our, in our near future. Uh, any ideas where you guys think it might be? I guess I'll tell you in a minute. Hey, you know, I've been having issues with characters not following, too. I hope you guys haven't been having the same issue. I did an edit right there, as you can see, because my other character was still back at the waterfall. I may have missed building something or something. Again, probably user error, but uh, rather than make you guys wait, that's why there was a little bit of a transition there. So, all right, we selected one of our favorite dino dung divers up here in the back left corner, and we have pulled out a bunch of bits that'll allow us to build a ladder to get up top. And uh, as we make our way all the way up here, I got to admit, I, I do get a little lost. Uh, you know, my instructions were based off our trophy guide that Doug did. And as I throw some old T-Rex P up there, um, we to get rid of those copies, we, uh, you know, I was right here. You got to dig up these bits to go ahead and make the, the binoculars. But do not look at the binoculars. Do not use that dino icon. I repeat, if you do, the telescope, if you use it, it'll take you out of here. We still need to use Billy and his parachute to get over to the left hand side but see i wasn't sure where the left was and because these little icons don't pop up until you get close i was a little confused so anyways all right we use billy we got across hopefully you guys didn't use the telescope we're gonna go ahead and use the velas v velociraptor velociraptor i don't know one of these days the rafflecopter will get it right uh, so use the raptor to follow the scent all the way down and around. I totally should go back and edit that ridiculousness out, but I'll leave it so you guys can laugh at me in the comments. Um, all right, we got the last mini kit, but there still is that amber brick we need to get. So use a character with the agility ability to scale the fence there. Once inside, we're going to need a raptor yet again. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to have some more targeting issues here. And uh, it's just a matter of being too close, so I get back a little bit. I am smart enough to figure that out, but I get my pounce, pounce, baby. Ding, 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 ding. Pounce, pounce, baby. I have no idea why I just totally remixed Vanilla Ice, but I did, and I seriously apologize. Um, all right, one more time, a character with the agility ability. I fall short, but I'm smart enough to switch characters up top, use the telescope to roll out. All right, all right, Eric Kirby, free play, complete. And uh, we got a whole bunch of studs again as per usual, thanks to our two times multiplier. Now, if you got antsy and went and found some other red brick multipliers, good for you. You probably had a lot more studs than me. I'm going to wait and get those in our free room series coming up once we finish the fourth movie. So all 10 mini kits, which gives us a ton of bluesies. Gosh, I love that never gets old. I got to admit, never gets old. We got the old Pteranodon. Uh, not only did we get the Skeletor version, but we also got the real fleshy version as well. Couple gold bricks as per usual, and that return to the island means only one thing, that that's it for LEGO Jurassic World Level 14, Eric Kirby Free Play. 
And yes, we got all those collectibles, and hopefully we put a smile along your face at some point in this video. I don't know. That, does that make any sense? A smile along your face? Hmm. Let's ponder that for a minute. Let's ponder it, and then head over to Facebook, Twitter, maybe comment, vote, subscribe down below. We appreciate all your feedback, because your feedback is crucial to our improvement. And uh, hey, if you guys are interested, check out HappyThumbsGaming.com as well. We have all sorts of things over there, like trophy achievement guides and product and gaming reviews. And who knows, you might even find uh, a liking to some stickers in our online store. Hmm? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> All right, anyways, uh, as for me, that's going to go ahead and do it. As always, until next time. Oh.